Hello guys, welcome to part 33 of Let's Play Alundra. Okay, right now we are still in Jal's Nightmare and hopefully we'll get to the end of it in this video. We can only dream, right? So let's go. Okay, now you see four lamps there. And the order you have to hit them is Northwest, Southeast, Southwest, and Northeast. And that's how you get to that little ice cube over there. Now, even if you get it, you had to be fast, otherwise those blocks are going to fall down. And it will impede your progress. Now, when you fall down a hole, make sure you hold down a direction button. Otherwise, you will miss out on this opportunity to get the Guild Falcon and the Ice Cube. But you can go back and do it over again. In fact, you pretty much have no choice. Just do the tricky jumps. There we go. Basically, I don't care, just as long as the east way doesn't get blocked. I need that path to get over here. Okay, it's time for another enemy gauntlet. You're going to see plenty of those in this dungeon alone. Luckily, the poo poos themselves are easy. Okay, what's the next? Oh, shadows. They should be of no threat. Especially when you fought so many of them before. Okay, when you throw this on the pedestal, be sure to hold up. You will thank me later. Because now you get to fight a couple soul eaters and a fireball. Now you may think, oh Bongo, you're not going to get any treasure from this. I mean, why would you do this? Well, I'll tell you later. Once I get this one killed. But it's very important you go this way. Okay, if you bomb this door over here, like this little cave, if you bomb this, you will get to a Wonder Essence, but since I'm already full health, I don't need it. Okay, now here's what I was telling you about earlier. The thing is, if I did not destroy those Soul Eaters and that Fireball, these three things would block my way. And I would have to like go back through the doorway on the right, just so I can finish that task. There, hope that explained it enough for you. Now let's get this chest for a Wonder Essence, I mean a Life Vessel. Good, that's what I need. Now let's continue. We go to the door that was blocked before, but we unblocked thanks to killing a couple soul eaters and destroying a fireball. Okay. Now for this little puzzle. If you play Super Mario RPG Legend of Seven Stars, you've seen a puzzle quite like this. You press the switch, then adjacent colors would activate. Like they would rearrange. In other words, just do it this way. You only need it to press 4. Simple enough, right? Of course. A couple bug bags, but you don't have to fight them. Just go straight on. Do a little switch game. Now you had to nail this just right, because the switches are only active for a limited time. Okay, time for some spiky platforms. God, they're just slower than the one in Metal Man stage from Mega Man 2. Basically, you just fall down here, get the ice cube, drop it down, bite some bug bags. You bug bags got no bags! If you know what I mean. Just be sure to finish him off with a charge shot. That way, you're, like I said before, you'll be out of range of the exploding bug attack. Okay, I want to hold on to this thing. Get to the pedestal. Perfect. Okay, now let's go in this little doorway. Oh wait, we can't go in there yet until we kill the bug bags. Okay. 
we gotta dodge the fireballs too. That should be a big pain. Because there's two on like on opposite sides of each other. Giving you less time to be in a safe spot. Well, if you're on a direct side of them. Okay, now let's go through this door. So we can destroy that and get a, a free herb. Or nothing. That's not really how to practice running like Like I said, I got an herb, like throwing that plant, like an herb popped out and automatically healed me. This time it was nothing. It's a rip-off! I just got screwed! Okay, here we go. Now we can go through this door. Now you can see, like, statues of soul eaters, but... I can bet you a million bucks what's gonna happen next. Oh yeah. You gotta fight six soul eaters. The ones on top, they're just statues. Don't worry, they do not fight. They do absolutely nothing. But you can see where this is going. Okay, that's one. And... That's two. There you are. Hey! I hit you! Okay, I got that one. Okay, I want to be as full health as possible because I think the boss is next door. Perfect. Now I can move onward. Okay, I'm not worried about this. There's Giles. Uh, oh, th this pain is un unbearable. And now it's boss time. Hey, it's the Soul Leech again. Alundra, it's Septimus. Listen to the words I speak carefully. Giles' life hangs by a frayed thread. If his mind is damaged further, he shall surely perish. You must fight the Tormentor in Jal's dream without doing serious damage to Jal's mind. It's a daunting task, but I have faith that you are up to it. Good luck. Okay, he's a little harder, but he fights the same way in, when you did in Klein's Nightmare. Except, if he sucks up Jal's one time, you die. Instantly. Like, just instant death. You are fucked. So in other words, do not let him suck up to Jal's. So to avoid it, just just walk up to Jaws and keep walking up to him. That way he will not be sucked in. But if you have a wonder essence if Jaws gets sucked in, you'll still be saved, and so will Jaws. But remember, it's a one-time chance, so use it wisely. So if you feel you're at risk of Jaws getting sucked in, do me a favor, let yourself get sucked in. You'll lose two HP. But it's better than dying, that's for sh damn sure. It's only now that I'm realize realizing how potent bombs are in this battle. So at least he, su he sucks them in. And they do not explode on contact with his body. Alright. It takes three hits to avoid the sucking in attack break it up, actually, rather than the original two in Klein's Nightmare. If all goes well, you probably won't even need to heal. Okay, good, I hit him twice. Oh, I missed him. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, well, that backfired. In the worst possible way. Well, actually, in the worst possible way, that means he would die. This little tactic I'm using is a godsend. It will save you a lot of trouble. Am 
all goes well, I should be able to finish him off in this video. But I don't think that's going to happen. Now I know the sucking the attack's gonna happen. Whoa! No, no! Oh, that was Oh! Got him right there! Yes! I knew I could do it. Okay, let's see what happens after the nightmare in the next part, okay? See ya, everyone.